Today I'm going to share with you a tutorial slash review of the service known as Build My Rank or BMR. So BMR is a service that lets you build backlinks to your site by letting you submit posts or articles to their wholly owned network of hundreds of aged high page rank domains. Uh, based on my experience uh, using Build My Rank, I've observed two uh, good advantages to the service. So the first is it has a high acceptance rate because they own the network of domains where your posts get posted. So as long as you make sure you post original, uh, appropriate content that has correct grammar, there's a high chance they'll accept your post. Second, second advantage is uh, Build My Rank has a high quality network because ag again they own uh, the network and they don't accept spam posts or set up blogs or sites that are low quality. So step one is to sign up for a BMR account. Alright, so uh, here's the pricing plan for uh, well the options that you can choose when you sign up. So if you've got five domains that you'd like to promote or build links to, that'll be $59 a month. And you can later upgrade from uh, the lowest level to higher levels if you've got more domains to promote. Once you've signed up for Build My Rank and you sign in to your account, and this is the dashboard, which you'll see, which is the first thing that you'll see when you sign up. So you'll see a couple of useful stats such as the top keywords for this month or the last 12 months, uh, post page rank distribution, which is the number of posts that have been posted to blogs with the following page ranks. Right? So you see that the network has blogs with PR6, 5, 4, 3, and so on and so forth. Uh, of course, we also have the post indexing uh, rate stats here. So of course if you're just starting out you won't actually see anything here yet. So to start promoting your sites you actually need to go to the projects section here. All right. So as you can see we've got a couple of projects here already. There are four projects and in each of these projects there are uh, domains. So there are two domains for the SEO project, one domain for trading, one uh, domain for guru and one for clients. Just to show you how this is done, if you want to add the project, just go ahead and click add project over here. And you can name your project. So let's just name this test. All right. Status leave it as active. And you have the option to write the description here um, for this project. So click submit. That will take us to another page where you can add a domain or domains to your project, right? So you just need to supply the category for the domain that you're adding. So let's just say that's business, right? Internet marketing. And here on the domain URL, you can add the, the URL of your site. And then on the links section here, you can add the links uh, of that domain that you'd like to promote, as well as the keywords and the tags for those specific URLs. So I can't actually add a new domain or URLs here to show you because this is a five domain account. So I can't add any new domains, but if I click back here, right, we can take a look at existing projects and the domains under them. Right, so let's look at SEO. So we've got two domains here. So let me just click edit for one of the domains so you can see how it looks from the inside. Alright, so it says here it's active, it's uh, under the project SEO, the category is business and finance, internet marketing, and the home URL is this one over here. Right, and the links, uh, the, the links that we want to build uh, links to, or the URLs that we want to build links for, are uh, all listed here and the corresponding keywords. All right. Um, I can't remember exactly, but I think Build My Rank has a policy of approving uh, URLs first, or domains, before you can start building to them. But uh, this is actually already the result of an approved 
URL so we can add the links and the keywords so it's important that you add the URLs and the keywords because this will make uh, posting later uh, faster and easier for you to do all right so now let's try to add a post to this project here or to this domain or right, let's add a post and let's see how we can build links all right so this is the post section where you can uh, add a new post and where you'll also see the posts that you've already written listed here in this gray section underneath okay, so let's just go ahead and write posts here a couple of important points to remember before you start writing is that PMR only accepts original posts so you need to put original material here and uh, there are limits to uh, or um, a mi minimum number of words that you need to write before you can add a link so 150 words at the very least for you to add one link so you can also post a long article here uh, longer than 150 words as long as you only add one link per 150 words. We usually prefer to just write 150 words, uh, posts, 150 word posts, and add one link each because the 150 words, that's easier to write. Plus, you'll be sure that the link appears on the first paragraph uh, when you post, when you send that, po that post out. So let's go ahead and select the domain. So I'll go for this one, all right? The category, uh, the category here. If you're posting through your master account, you can choose a different category. If your article uh, is well differs slightly from the category that you've specified, the default category you've specified. So, uh, let's say business and finance. Right, this is an SEO blog, but sometimes you also talk about advertising, so you can also choose that if the post that you're sending out is more related to advertising. So that's only if you're posting through the master account. So I'll stick with the default category here, and I'll move on with adding a title and a body for the post. All right, so let me just pause the video while I do that. So I've gone ahead and added the title and the body of the post here. So my post is 156 words. Now the cool thing with BMR is you can insert your link directly when you've got your body here. So you just need to choose the point where you want your um, link and keyword to appear. And you can just go ahead and insert it. So in here in the links section underneath the body section, you can choose from the, any of the keywords that you've entered for this domain. And you can just, okay, we've chosen web video training. Okay, I'll put my cursor where I want the keyword and link to be, and I'll just click insert. And there, your keyword and link will automatically appear. Okay, so I'll just click submit right here. And so now it says the post has been added. Alright, so there is the post, but the status is still pending. So there's still a chance that if there's something wrong with this post, if if I posted something that's not original, uh, DMR might just flag this one. So you might need to take it out and submit another piece of original content. Or there might be other problems like uh, spelling errors or whatever. It could get flagged. So you'll just have to submit a new post. So that's for writing a new post in BMR. So another feature that I like that I'd like you to see is the writer section here. This is a section where you can add writer accounts. So this is use useful if you're outsourcing your um, articles or posts. So if you're going to ask someone else who's not a member of your staff or your team to write BMR posts for you, and you'd like them to post the posts themselves in BMR, you can just create a writer account for them and they can log in using their own login details instead of yours. So that way they don't really get to see everything that's in your account. 
and they have less control. So just to show you, I've opened a the writer account that we've set here in a separate browser. Alright, so this is what your outsourced writer will see when she opens her uh, BMR BMR uh, dashboard. Right? So just to illustrate again, your writer just needs to hit posts here. To see the lists, the list of posts she's done so far. So the, uh, the posts are listed here in the gray section. To add a new post, uh, she needs to go back to the projects section and click on the user, the the plus plus icon here, and that will open the domains under a specific project. So we'll choose a project and just choose add post. That will bring you to the post section. All right. So as I mentioned, um, writers who access the uh, the BMR account through uh, writer logins can't actually change the category for uh, a specific post. So they'll have to stick with the default category. So all you need to do is just to add the title, the body, choose a link, and then send it out. So let me just pause. Let me just uh, fetch a sample post to put here. Okay, so I've added the title, the body, and the link uh, with the anchor text for the keyword. Uh, so all I need to do is just to click submit here. Alright, so it says the post has been added uh, and uh, it's still the status is still pending. So that's all there is to adding posts in Build My Rank or uh, using Build My Rank to build links to your domains. So if you want to learn more about Build My Rank, you can go ahead and type www.theseomethod.com slash bmr in your browsers and that'll give you more information about Build My Rank. <laughs>